All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength of Power. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a bodybuilder by the name of Charles Claremont. Now, you guys seem to enjoy the videos I make about bodybuilders that have kind of been forgotten. And this guy has kind of been forgotten about due to his relatively low placings later in his career in the IFBB. He never really placed that well in the Olympia or really in any big major shows. So for that reason, he really hasn't been talked about that much. So Charles Claremont was famous in the 1980s and the 1990s for having one of the most aesthetic physiques of all time. Um, his V-taper and his small waist was just simply one of the best. And he's really had that ideal classic physique. He had nice big biceps nice small waist you know nice wide shoulders and he had that crazy v taper effect going on on stage and in addition to that he was six feet tall which gave him an even better v taper because the height really um just kind of emphasized the effect so this guy was also a four-time mr universe champion and he is from england and he was actually a paratrooper in the british army prior to becoming a professional bodybuilder so his contest history includes the 1985 european championships which he won he also won the 1986 mr universe the 1988 mr universe the 1989 mr universe and the 1990 mr universe he would also win the 1990 naba world championships so primarily um, in the mid 80s he was competing outside of the ifbb so he didn't really get his start until the early 90s in the IFB. So a lot of people think he was kind of a late bloomer in that regard because a lot of people say that in 1986, when he won that Mr. Universe competition, which was not an IFBB competition, um, they say that his physique in 1986 pretty much rivaled any of the top tier pros in the IFBB at that point in time. So a lot of people say had he gone to the IFBB immediately after winning that 1986 Mr. Universe, he would have done some serious damage in the pro ranks of the IFBB in that time period. But he didn't really do very well in the IFBB um, until shortly after his debut. So 1993 was this guy's best year in the IFBB. So he won in the 1993 England Grand Prix. He also won the 1993 Finland Grand Prix. The 1993 France Grand Prix. And then from that point on, after, the, after 93, his placings would slowly drop. Um, his placings at the Olympia would slowly get worse and worse. And he didn't really do much um, in the IFBB in the 90s. So a lot of people think had he gone to the IFBB in the 80s, he would have been way more famous as a bodybuilder. He may have won you know, some major shows in the 80s, um, but really for the most part, he was not that successful in the 90s in the IFBB. So that could be why um, his, he's not really that much uh, that famous today and he's not really that talked about. So he's actually still alive today um, and he is currently a personal trainer at a gym called Busy Limits Gym. I believe that's over there in his home country. Um, so he was—he was—he was, he was, he was, he was, he was widely known for just having, you know, this crazy aesthetic physique, and I really wanted to kind of bring him back into the spotlight for a minute because really. You know, this is a physique that's really one of the best physiques of all time, in my opinion. If you look at the top 10, he would definitely be a top 10 most most aesthetic physiques of all time that ever graced an IFBB stage, in my opinion, because his physique was just the definition of aesthetic for me. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.